here it is with my 1299 Panigale R Final Edition. I've had the bike since August, had uh, just over 4,000 miles on it now. I can tell you it's absolutely amazing. The Euro 4 exhaust on it really choked the bike up as you can see now with full race exhaust, carbon belly can, the full race silencer, completely different machine. It's woke the bike up, the hesitation is gone, the power that it makes is unreal. Plus, I mean, let's just call it what it is, the sound. It is truly a one-of-a-kind machine I've been lucky enough to own. The way it tips in a corner is unreal. Like any Panigale, if you trust the front end, you're in good shape. If you don't trust the front end, well, something you'll just have to come to terms with. Uh, other things I can tell you about the machine, it turns heads like you wouldn't believe. People absolutely love this bike. I've done some photo shoots of my own with it, and everybody just says how this is probably the best looking Panigale, and well, because I own it, I would tend to agree. Also, I know a lot of people out there are wondering with the new V4 out, trying to compare. Do you get one of these? Do you get the new V4? It really just comes down to preference. This bike obviously isn't cheap. The way it makes its power is unreal. It's just like the twin. It has a lot of torque in the mid-range. This one with lightweight internals on the engine revs up like that, and it just throws the power down and just goes. It accelerates with a sense of urgency that I haven't felt before. I mean, I've had a Panigale R and this thing would eat it alive. And I even had the Panigale R geared down a little bit. This still has stock gearing for now and it'll, it would eat the Panigale R alive. I mean, no doubt in my mind. The other things, um, this does have a lot of torque in the mid-range. When you get on the throttle and you get on it hard, it can upset the chassis a little bit uh, depending on how aggressively you get on it. Some people like it, some people don't really. It just comes down to, again, your riding preference. Lately, I've been lucky enough to ride the Panigale V4S and a friend of mine's uh, V4 Speciale with the full Acker on it. I can tell you right now, that is a really, really good motorcycle. The engine is extremely buttery smooth. The way it puts its power down, it doesn't have the torque. This one does in the mid-range, but it has an insane top end, and the bike just keeps pulling. Um, the chassis does feel a little bit different. It doesn't tip into a corner as fast as this where this tips in a little bit quick and kind of feels like it's on edge. Granted, I need to still mess with some suspension settings. The V4 out of the box felt planted. The V4, I could see, will be faster around a racetrack. I have no doubt of that. For most people, for daily riding, I do think the V4, it, it's, it's, it's a better bike. It's more refined. This, however, this still has that rawness. This is still an aggressive machine. This bike you have to ride it a very certain way to extract the performance out of it. And if you can do that and you can ride it that way, this bike will reward you. Where the V4 is more of a tool, it will help you go faster. To me, I've had, this is my fourth Panigale now, I had the original 1199 base when it came out, I put way too much money into. I had a 1299S with the full Acker on it, amazing machine. I had a Panigale R that I almost had 10,000 miles on love that bike and now this one um this is my favorite of all of them I, as i said i was really torn on getting a v4 i put the race exhaust on this and i can't be happier i'm happy for everybody that's got a v4 i do think they're a phenomenal machine but for me for the way i like to ride for the feel that i want from a bike this is it hey everybody thanks for watching if you like the video comment subscribe and uh check me out on instagram Thanks for watching. Have a good one.